Kingdom of Romania. And as the Kingdom of Romania, well, what, what 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 do you really do? Oh god, that's loud. That probably has completely overshadowed my voice. Not gonna lie. Right. So there are a whole bunch of focuses as the Kingdom of as the Kingdom of Romania. There are ones that are like ones that are like super broken, obviously. And so, um, there are ways to trick trick the entire system. They're doing basically whatever you want them to, uh, but we're not going to be doing that today. We're not going to be the the cheaters today, so. Uh, we want you. We want to split the army in half. Actually, we want all new recruits. Well, there are a lot of those, aren't there? In fact, all of these guys are new recruits. That's enough for an entire army. This guy can go back, actually. Because he's fully trained, and then these guys can hop in there. 25. So yes, you guys all need to train. Train, 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 train. Good. Alright, what is our, what is our, you know, battle strategy here? What's our plan of attack? Well, first of all, it's to turn down that audio, because, god damn, that's, that's loud. Oh, master volume 2. I don't want it to be too quiet, but at the same time, I don't want it to be too loud. You can understand, that would be, like, terrible if it was so loud. Ugh. Completely garbage. Right, so civilian factories, what do we want to build? Well, military factories. We have enough civilian factories for what we need for the most part, but military factories and some naval bases. I believe that's actually really all we can build right now. And then we should check our things that we want, which will be this, it will be this, it will be this. We're going to be preparing for the coming storm. And so uh, it's going to be interesting to do. Convoys, destroyers, well, we want some destroyers, we want some convoys. We want a little bit of, of all of them. We don't really need submarines, I mean, there's that. Um, convoys and the destroyers are going to be our focus here. Then military factories, well, we're going to want some big artillery. We're going to want to be big on that artillery. Uh, we need enough just to, like, keep track of our tank divisions. And then, we want to, we could do either preserve Greater Romania, Balkans Dominance, or any of these things. I really, really like this focus tree, actually. I really, really rather enjoy it. Um, there are a lot of things you can do with it. I think Balkans Dominance is one of the things we're going to go for, because we want to absolutely delete everyone else. Um, or, of course, we could join the commentary and do whatever. I mean, we could go... I've played Fascist Romania so many times, I actually feel like going Communist Romania. Like, I actually feel like doing that right now. Hmm. Hmm. That is interesting. Uh, yeah. I might. I might do it. I am gonna do it actually. Alrighty. Uh, let's institute the royal dictatorship. We need a couple of things. First of all, we need iron or steel. Rather, we're gonna grab that from the states. Portugal has a good amount of this. We don't have these any convoys, which that's good. Uh, can we grab things that require no convoys? Okay, so no, con no convoys from France, because we just don't have enough convoys from the States. So let's ask France. They can give us what we need. We should be good on resources now. Low manpower, uh, let's do this. What are we going to want to build up first? Well, I have no freaking clue what we want to build first. How about... We give... Okay, we, don't, we can't give this guy a leader, a general, there's no point. Um, giant focus on reinforcement, because we really need that. I think artillery might be our biggest, best idea right now. Our artillery doctrine. So, what we want to produce is high artillery templates. Just tons of artillery. Maybe a couple of motorized, but mostly artillery, I think. So if we look down the doctrines for uh, land, land doctrine, there you go. Look down the doctrine for superior firepower, it goes down. And then I believe there's something to do with maybe motorized? There's no motorized effects here, so I'm wrong. Um, I don't know, but yeah, we're going to go through superior firepower, definitely, 100%, and then through with that, we can get hopefully enough artillery to fend off Germany, basically, I have to deal with that, All right, yes, the king's, the king's lifestyle is, is terrible, nobody really, really likes the king, apparently. Also, hello, welcome to the stream. I hope you're going to stay here for a little while. We're playing as Romania. 
and I did just finish some uh, equalization with my my voice so hopefully some things sound good and my, some things might sound bad but I'm hoping for the most part that my voice sounds tolerable at the very least and so there might be a couple of shifts over the next few days of what my voice sounds like but yeah for now at least uh, we're, we're doing pretty all right so Alrighty, uh, stability could be a little bit better. War support's fantastic, actually, so that's good. Um, Streep's all training until they're going to be maximum. Until then, we're getting a whole lot of reinforcement. Also, we should have been setting an actual queue here, because we need three for traded goods. We need 12 of this, so we really only have two to use. Uh, we should be going down sort of like this, then down that way. Seems good to me. I don't know. Planes. Also, might be important to grab. Maybe, maybe. Might be might be good to grab. And other than that, we're going to want to turn communists, because we're going to be joining the common turn this, this game. I thought maybe at the beginning we could turn fascist Romania, like you usually do, because it's a lot of fun. But I think I'm actually going to turn around and join the common turn this time, just to shake things up a little bit for both myself and maybe the viewers. We're done with this. Revise the constitution, fortify the borders. We could do a couple of different things, or we could join Preserve Greater Romania. Uh, guarantee tension limits minus 100% guarantee costs. Alright, so we could effectively put guarantees on people. Preserve Greater Romania. So if we guarantee people, then we're good, I guess? I don't know. Could do the Romanian Polish Alliance. Okay. Alright. Western guarantee. Multi modernization. Alright, that's a whole bunch of things you can do. So the next thing is probably revise the constitution. Sounds good to me. And then flexible foreign policy and then appoint pro-Soviet. Yeah. Just to turn fascist quickly. I'm not fascist, oh my god, communist. We're turning communist, we're not going to be turning fascist. Also, let me know if the if it sounds too low in the game. I mean, I have a feeling it might be. Like, I have a good feeling that it might actually be. Not that uh, not that high at all, so... Grab the audio, maybe just turn up a little bit. Should be fine, really. Alrighty. We're kind of low on manpower. We probably passed that time where we should have changed things up a little bit. Uh, let's grab these silent workers. Yes. And then through there we should grab the... I always go for the fascist demagogues. What is this one called? The communist revolutionary. Okay. I've gone communist like once in my life, and that was to see if it was possible to go communist as Canada. And I'll let you know, first place, uh, it, ca it kind of isn't, so. Yeah, I don't know if it's even possible to play as Canada in a reasonable time span to do anything that's actually reasonably impressive, but. Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. Right. So we could do anti fascist raids just because we have quite a bit of fascism. But I feel like that's going to boost our non-aligned rather than our communists, so. I don't know. I don't know, really. Also, welcome to the stream. Uh, we've got another person just joining in here. Uh, welcome. We're playing as the Kingdom of Romania. We're going to be changing to communist as soon as possible. It's also a Let's Play, so if you felt like it, you could just join the... The, uh... You could see it on the channel if you wanted to. It's the same name. Same name if you wanted to, but... That is how that's going to be. Everyone here trained up? A couple people are. So you guys, you guy, you, 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 and you. Go back here. Don't need you to train, actually. So we are good to go. Thank you for the follow, by the way. That's absolutely fantastic. Appreciate a whole bunch. Hope you guys uh, like watching Hoi 4 because we're going to be playing that for the next little while. I might take a little bit of a break, but for now, that's what we're going to be playing. So, flexible form policy or Royal Foundation. The extra research slot is probably more important to get earlier on, so I think we're actually going to grab that. Basic machine tools. Okay. Um, this world's are concentrated. That is the question. That's the question of all time. That is the question among questions. Because we get less bombed this way, and we can convert faster. But I And we can get more factories in a state. That is true. Oh, no, it's the same, actually. Um... We have production efficiency retention and base, but since we're not going to be producing tons of stuff, we're going to be producing, like, specific things. Uh, I think... Yes, we're not, I mean, you know. I mean, I, I haven't played a whole bunch of, um, 
I haven't played a whole ton of Way 4 myself. I've played Romania a couple of times, not the whole way through, because of course, uh, if you join the Axis, you only get so far into Russia, and then, I don't know, the Soviets sort of stop helping you, right? So, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking probably going through a whole bunch of artillery might be our best option to grab this artillery. It's a, it's a full 20 widths, so that sounds good to me. And something I also recently learned was that um, apparently breakthrough, breakthrough uh, like tanks and stuff, apparently your best option is having 40 width. So that's apparently a, tipped, uh, a tip. So, hmm. More manpower because I have no clue. Sentinel of the Motherland, right. Because that's one of our focus things, isn't it? <sighs> the king! Every time, man. Every time. You managed to mess something else up. I need this for certain things, though, so... Uh, I will not pay you off to stop doing your things, but... Well, let's let's see. Go foundation. Yes, more things are good. More More research for more things. As in doctrines. Yes, that sounds very good to me. I would like to grab my my um, land doctrine as soon as possible because it gives you a ton of good things. Like it gives you a lot of good things. Look at this, plus twenty percent soft attack. That's ridiculous. That's that's kind of ridiculous, really. Twenty percent, and then of course you can add like plus fifty or something. Not like plus fifty percent, but I think it's plus fifty per division. I'm pretty sure. At some point, plus twenty five percent. Actually, maybe I'm wrong, but we are going to go for integrated support and then regimental combat teams, maybe? I have no clue. I don't know a clue. Ah, yes, there we go. Um, Let's grab... I mean, air's not important when you're just not going to have much air in the first place. We could go for excavation. We could go for... Ah, oh, well, equipment's always good. And then we should go for flexible foreign policy and then pro-Soviets. Yes, we're going to uh, delete the Germans, the German Reich, and we're going to become Big Romania, I guess. I don't, I don't know, man. But be to become Big Romania, we're going to need a lot of uh, total artillery, infantry equipment, and support equipment, apparently. So we should get some of those trained up, set them down to the lowest priority. I uh, know that, that, and okay, there we go. So anything else can just sort of be there, but we need... 400,000 in total in the army before we can actually get much so this both uh, like all of our missions basically require that so we're gonna get rid of like a couple that's fine it's basically just gonna be artillery in fact I mean we could get a couple of tank divisions not a whole bunch of tank divisions in fact all these guys are done so stop training I guess in fact, you should just be turned into another army and stop. And are the all these guys just turned into? Oh, we need someone to encircle, right? Yeah, for a future game, I'll probably end up playing Spain at some point. That sounds like that sounds like actually a really really nice thing to do. I mean, you know, either either side wins the war most of the time. It doesn't like it's this it goes back and forth every single game I play. In fact, let's. If I know who's going to win this time, no one knows. It might be Nationalists, might be Republic, cause, or Rep Republicans, because no one has any idea, because they changed that, where usually the Nationalists won, but now the Republicans do have a fair fight at winning, so it's, uh, it is interesting. Alright, so anything else? The games are concluded. Those were the... Yes, Germany held the Olympics. That's right, isn't it? Yeah, that is right. Alrighty then. You're low manpower? Well, I mean, I guess so. Meh. Oh, right, we end up losing that at some point, don't we? The manpower thing. Once we go down and we force abdicate. I believe, yeah. We can. When we force abdicate, we get rid of the Sentinel of the Motherlands. That's minus 1% rec recruitable population, actually, so. Well, um. I don't know. Also, tell me how the audio is, because we may or may not have a too loud background, or maybe there's just a weird equalization on my voice, which I can do a hotfix on, but yeah, uh, that's actually...
pretty good, isn't it? Subversive, yeah, subversive activity sufficiency. Non-core manpower plus 2%. That's actually very, very good. But, um... Well, we might want to grab them. I don't know. We get a specific guy, don't we? At some point. Third campaign. Um, we get someone like... I actually don't remember. Hmm. Yeah, no idea. I'm pretty sure... Like, I know how, like... Canada gets one guy that's, like, really good and stuff. I'm pretty sure that, um... Oh, not hearing the game at all. I'm not hearing the game at all. Hmm. Well then. That's not supposed to happen. No, hold on, I can fix this. I'll boost it up a bit, and in fact, I'll boost it up a little bit in here, too. Alright, and then it should be fine, right? I think so. Get the good old music in the background. I like the music, personally. Oh, speaking of music, oh god, I need to make sure that the copyright ones aren't on. Yes, I think all the copyright ones are gone. All of the Sabaton ones, because they don't like it when I, uh... Ah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it's a little bit better. I'll, like, up it up a little bit there. All right. So, um... I'm also going to be, you know, sending this over to uh, to YouTube when I'm done. I can't hear myself speak, so i got to turn that down myself. I turn it down here, and then boost it up in Streamlabs, but... There you go. That, that should be, you know, a, a good balance. All right, um, but yeah, it's also going to be posted to to YouTube. So people who are watching the video are probably kind of confused, but at the same time, it's just talking to Twitch, so... Yeah, if you want to go, if you want to go see it later, then... You can, obviously. Uh, play the pro-Soviets. Yes. We're going to become super communist. Why not? Why not? Also, welcome to the stream. we got a new person joining. We're playing as Romania, by the way. Kingdom of Romania. And this is for an LP on YouTube, which will be posted probably in two days, right after the Stellaris LP goes live, I think, tomorrow. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's going to be going up soon. Hope you stick around for that as well. Uh, we want the Captain of Industry, he's good. Probably should have like gotten that guy earlier, maybe. Who knows? Probably. Uh, how much political power is it gonna take? Cause we're we're not really gonna be doing the justification game. We're really gonna be doing the sort of the focus game, where we can do things such as forcing puppets on Bulgaria, and we're going to align Hungary, which is. Which gives them the option they can either become our puppet, or we can start an alliance, or not an alliance, we can become a faction together. And so I kind of don't want to become a faction with Hungary, and you can kind of understand why when you're stuck in the middle of Axis in the common turn. So, I mean, unless we literally form the Intermarium with Poland, Bulgaria, Greece, Yugoslavia, Albania, you know, all those, then um, it's kind of not really going to work out for us in the end, so... We're just going to end up probably invading Hungary, which is, I think, one of the easiest wars in the game, I've been told, so. Um, the king's got to stop doing that thing. That thing where he becomes, like, too full of himself? Yeah. Alright, so let's, uh, let's assign some front lines. Now, I've seen, like, uh... I've seen someone, like, exploit Romania super hard. Where they just turn all of their units into, I think it's like their cavalry. And then they train up a whole bunch of them and switch them back, which will fill in the manpower. And then they invade Bulgaria and all that stuff. Spain versus Portugal may be a rival for the easiest war in the game. That's true, that's true. Once I tried to, uh, oh, anti-common turn pact, refuse or join. Ha, huh, we're going to be part of the common turn. Silly Germany. Right. So yeah, I tried playing as Portugal once. All right, and um, I tried to invade one of the Spains. I don't remember which one it was at that point. One of them while the other one was dying, basically. Like, I tried to just pick off the winner and just still got destroyed because that doesn't even matter because you're Portugal, so. <laughs> uh, it's just, yeah. Yeah. Could go through Securit. Securite. Securitate! Oh my god, I literally, I'm illiterate, I'm sorry. Not bad. But yeah, um, we could go through this, which would give us... 
Effective partisans on us minus ten percent for activities efficiency. I don't know what that exactly means, but it re removes the constitutional guarantees and the iron guard. So I don't know what those are. Constitutional guarantees, iron guard. Neither of these things. No one knows. Mm hmm. Oh, that's because it is. Haha. -ha. Yes. If you go through this, then gets rid of this and this. Right. It gets rid of the other ones. I don't know why you're allowed to go as all three as Romania. That's kind of weird. But yeah, you're allowed to do basically whatever you want. All right, and we don't really need people training because we now have this guy. I'm not going to be making too many changes to our army. We are, however, going to either change this up or make it more, but we're going to give him artillery. So will give him increased soft attack by a ton. Increased HP, a whole bunch of other things. Organization decreases. And a couple other things decrease, but at the same time, I think it's just worth it more, so. If you're fighting in the mountains, why not? Attacking the entirety of Spain right after one side wins might be easier. Yeah, that's what I tried to do. Wait, uh... Right after one side wins, you say? Oh, oh, that would have been a better idea, you're right. Yes, we are playing as Romania today. Um, yeah. It's, uh, it's gonna be interesting. We're trying to go communist. It's, I mean, we're getting there, we're getting there, but it's, it's taking its time. That is true, since most of the population of, of Spain is just them fighting each other. Speaking of which, none of them have won yet, and um, kind of waiting to see if, if they're gonna... I, I think the Republicans are looking good, which might be good for, like, you know, the commenter and all that stuff, but... Who knows? Who knows? Still doing that reinforcement, because... I mean, we're definitely not getting this done anytime soon. I want to make sure we have full fighting force. Actually, hold on. What if we do this and then bring it to max? I think that actually might be, you know, mildly exploitable. I'll explain why. So, Republicans always win. Eh, that's how it feels these days, right? I mean, that is true. I mean, back in the day, it used to be that nationalist Spain would always win, like every single time, right? And then, like, I've been noticing that the Republicans start winning a whole lot more. And I don't know if that's part of Waking the Tiger, that they, like, change something, some sort of the balance between, but... Have you played Hungry? I, I've not played Hungry before. I haven't played too much of the game. Uh, I think I've only played, like, around 60 hours of the game. I've watched a whole lot more than I've played, so... I have a rough idea of what I'm doing, but at the same time, not a, not a whole lot. Alright, so we can do Force Abdication. That's minus 1% of our people, though. Or, well, yeah, 1% recruitable population. Yeah, it is part of Waking the Tiger. That's that's what I thought so. Two nationalists win, one Republican win? Yeah. Let's go with the Balkans' dominance, because we're going to want to... Probably pop it Bulgaria, I'm thinking. Also, welcome to the stream. Third person's joined. Hope you're going to have some fun here. We're playing as, uh, you know, the Kingdom of Romania. Things are going well so far. Probably should click this button. <laughs> Hilarious. Probably should have grabbed the evolutionary a lot sooner. Um, we're going to pretend that never happened, right? I've had uh, equals while I played the other countries. Yeah, that's what I meant. I mean, I, I mean, I assume that's what you meant because obviously, if you're if you're playing as Spain, you're gonna win, you know, your side. So, I mean, unless of course you just have no clue what you're doing, as if as if you're me playing the game. I mean, pff, what, what? Total population minus zero point two percent. Is that how communism works? You just got less people in your army? That's not how the Soviet Union worked. You got more people in your army because you're a communist. Uh -huh. Oh boy, it's time for the purge. Oof. Hungary's quite special. Yeah, I saw their focus tree. They're actually really, really cool. Like, for quite the small country, that is a ridiculous size of a tree. Wow. Like, I think it's almost on par with uh, Germany's, actually. Because Germany's is rather large. Okay, no, I'm wrong. Maybe Hungary's is a little bit smaller, but... Yeah, Hungary is, interestingly, interesting, yeah, interestingly enough, has like a ton of focuses. Yeah, I imagine if, if you choose the right path, you can become like overpowered. Like you're literally just become, like probably, you can probably just like, you can Anschluss before Germany does. I don't think it's referred to as Anschluss if you're Hungary though. I mean, probably not, but you know what I'm talking about. You can just sort of invite the Habsburg Prince. Yes, that's the one, isn't it? Um... If I can find it here somewhere. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, yes, here, right here, and then take Austria by force to demand referendum. 
which I'm assuming it's possible that you might get the referendum and it might work, and then you can restore you can restore Austria Hungary. They can do a whole bunch of things. I mean, yeah, I mean, if you reclaim the the empire, I'm sure you can go into Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia too and just start rolling people, but yeah, things are uh, things are looking good. So we could sort of make ourselves communist faster, but do we really need to? That's the that's the question. Because we're not exactly like forcing people. Referendum's either 50-50 or 60-40. 60-40, I'm assuming 60 is the chance of actually getting it. I think so. That'd make sense. If it gives you the opportunity and it's only just like 